Well, for the most part, we're stepping out the door this afternoon. Storm Track 12 live Doppler is quiet with the exception of one lone cell kind of heading there across Alligator River headed over and towards Dara County, but it won't be long before we get these showers and thunderstorms starting to bubble up for us here. We are seeing a little bit of sunshine peeking through, especially the coastal areas of Onslow and Carteret County and there's some thinning of that cloud cover there in the Pitt County and that kind of creates what we call differential heating. It starts to bubble up the atmosphere and where the sun's out, that's where the storms usually like to start developing for us here. That's also where we got the warmer temperatures. Look at Swansboro, 89, 83 in Beaufort with a little bit thicker cloud cover, 85 in New Bern and 84 both in Keenansville and also Jacksonville. But even though we don't have as hot of temperatures today, we still got it feeling like the upper 80s and low 90s as you get out the door this afternoon with those southwesterly winds continuing to keep the warmth in here for us. So we may see upper 80s to near 90 as we head through the day today. Showers and thunderstorms start to bubble up as we go later on this afternoon, this evening, and any of those storms could have the brief heavy downpours as well as the potential for some poor drainage flooding issues or maybe even flash flooding because some spots have already seen in excess of three to four inches of rainfall here in the last two days. Uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms again inland to start the evening and over Overnight hours making their way to the coast. Temperatures like this morning into the 70s. Future track does show as we head into the afternoon hours here. We'll see those showers and thunder showers as that sea breeze front starts to press inland to the warm, humid air. Showers and storms moving in from the west. All that kind of slides on through late afternoon and evening hours here. They make their way towards the coast. And again, we will watch for some of the heavier downpours and frequent lightning with these storms. Overnight tonight, very cloudy skies through the overnight hours. A little bit of sunshine tries to peek through early tomorrow afternoon as soon as it does. That's when those showers and storms do start to bubble up as the front starts to slide from the north to the south across the area. Upper 80s to near 90 yet again, feeling like the mid 90s. And then that front late tomorrow evening really starts to interact with that warm, humid air mass we have in place as it continues to sink southward for us here. Now, as we go in through the day on Sunday, we'll probably have some showers around for the first part of the day, and then maybe especially across the southern areas still could be a few showers late in the afternoon. I think, though, by the time we get near sunset, that drier air will start to work in and we'll start to see some of that cloud cover break up for us here. Take a look at the rainfall wise, though. The potential is there for two, three, maybe an isolated four inch amount. So we will have to watch those repeated storms over the next couple days going over the same areas. It could cause some poor drainage flooding issues for us here. Maybe an isolated shower or thunder shower along the coastal areas as we head through the day on Monday. And then this heat and humidity is back in here by the middle of the week.